Not long ago, the dean of a great university was asked, what is the greatest problem at this university? He answered in one word, emptiness. The Wesleyan Hour, a worldwide radio missions ministry of the Wesleyan Church, your window to the world for over 25 years. You and I are living in a high-strung, neurotic, impatient age. This dynamic 28-minute program of inspirational music and preaching is broadcast in English, Spanish, Russian, and the Tibetan language over AM, FM, shortwave, satellite, and the Internet. Speaker Dr. Norman Wilson has been preaching and teaching God's unfailing word through that window for over 25 years. You are forgiven. You're given a new life, and you are adopted into the family of God and given the promise of a home in heaven. I started listening to the Wesleyan Hour when I was 13 years old. Dr. Wilson's messages really helped me to know and understand Jesus and what he did for me on the cross. I mean, I always considered myself to be a Christian, but I never really read the Bible on my own or thought about what it meant outside of church. I remember listening to a sermon one Sunday and it really caught my attention. I prayed for my family and I prayed that I could become closer to God. I live alone in one room. My only companion is a radio. My financial situation is poverty level. I receive only a meager veteran's pension and eat my meals at the Salvation Army and Catholic Charities. I sometimes go for days without conversing with anyone. I have fear of people. I am shy and self-conscious. Your message today helped me to reunite my nearness to Jesus. Your prayer gave me new confidence and acceptance of Christ. Your message on the Colossians study touched my heart. I got down on my knees and prayed with you at the end of the program. I really needed that message. Released over 200 times each week and around the clock on the Wesleyan Church website at wesleyan.org, Norman Wilson and the Wesleyan Hour staff have received and processed listener letters from over 100 countries around the globe. Those letters from young and old alike recount stirring incidents of people giving their hearts to Christ and words of gratitude from Christians who have been encouraged in their walk with the Lord. I work at one of your Wesleyan Hour stations. One morning, while broadcasting your message, I was filled with the kind of confusion and unrest you were speaking about in your message. I have been struggling with nagging sin in my life, and your program was a wake-up call. I am still a faithful listener, and time after time I get the feeling that you are talking to me, addressing my concerns of faith. I am sure all your listeners share this feeling. We started broadcasting the Wesleyan Hour on one of our local stations a month ago. One Sunday afternoon I received a call at church from a woman in a neighboring town who doesn't attend church. She cried as she told me her circumstances involving, among other things, a struggle with diabetes. Her reason for calling was that she had tuned in that morning to the Wesleyan Hour and it had met her at her point of struggle and she had just wanted to express her thanks. Your window to the world. You open that window by your faithful and prayerful support. Your individual gifts, as well as the budgeted giving of churches and auxiliaries, make it all possible. So you see, an exciting, growing, influential ministry starts with you and makes its way through the phone lines, off the satellite dishes, to the hearts of listeners across the street, in your community, and as far as the mountains of Tibet. Every week, that window of hope opens to the major metropolitan areas of North America, into the core of the inner city, across the fences and borders of oppressive countries, and into the hearts of a people who desperately need the gospel. Every week, that window of hope reaches the lonely and often forgotten in institutions or military bases around the world. The Wesleyan Hour is your window to the world. The first broadcast of the Wesleyan Hour was October 5th, 1975. And I can remember yet with the sound of trumpets, which was our original theme, and the song, Oh for a Thousand Tongues, and uh, the thrill that we felt as that first program began. Since then, it has become obvious that radio is still a very efficient means of reaching people. More than 90% of the people in the United States listen to radio every day. 
and over 30% of the people who listen to Christian radio are not Christians. I've always seen the Wesleyan Hour as an extension of the local church ministry. It not only raises the consciousness of the people in the community about the fact that the Wesleyan Church is there, but it also makes it easier for a person to transition into a Wesleyan Church after having heard the Wesleyan message through the Wesleyan Hour. In fact, one of the uh, encouragements of at the very beginning of the program, the first broadcast, October 5, 1975, a man heard the program, went to the local Wesleyan Church that night and told the pastor he'd heard the program. And as a result of that program and the visit to the church, he found Christ as his Savior. And now, these many years later, he's still involved in that local church. For over 25 years, the Wesleyan Hour has been an outreach. It's been an outreach to people across the country and around the world. It's been an outreach of the gospel to take the message of Jesus Christ to those who do not know him. And we think of the future the Wesleyan Hour is your window to the world. And what about the future? Your Wesleyan Hour is already there. Dr. Norman Wilson and the Wesleyan Hour musicians are available by audio stream 24 hours every day on the internet. Satellite broadcasters are becoming increasingly interested in the Wesleyan Hour, which was a nominee for the coveted National Religious Broadcasters Program of the Year. The commitment to reach unreached people groups with the gospel is greater than ever. Linking arms with such renowned missions broadcasting companies as Transworld Radio and Slavic Gospel Missions. The outreach of the Wesleyan Hour is increasing as never before in its history. The Wesleyan Hour, your window to the world. You can be a partner with Norman Wilson and the Wesleyan Hour staff. First, by becoming a Wesleyan Hour prayer partner. Second, you can sponsor or co-sponsor the broadcast in your local community. And third, by including the Wesleyan Hour in your outreach budget. The Wesleyan Hour, 25 years of excellence in broadcasting.